Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Thank you everyone that submitted questions for this week's Walking Dead Q&A. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, so we'll get through questions first, but I do have a few announcements at the end of the video. There were also a few important things that Scott Kimple and Greg Nicotero confirmed after the episode. First, the guy in the flashbacks was not Negan, he was just the crazy tattoo man that they let out. Number two, they're doing something super secret with Morgan. And number three, there will be a new villain that'll at least be as evil as the governor. It won't be a copy of the governor, it'll just be someone really terrible. And for those that don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on with the Walking Dead spinoff show. I've already done a big video on it, so I'll add a link to that in the description if you want to learn more about it. Careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode. So here we go. Question number one, Dirt Muffin. That is an awesome name. Do you think that Beth will reunite with the group? Yes, I definitely think she's not going to die. I believe we won't see her at least till the third episode, maybe the teaser at the end of episode two. Presumably, there will be some exposition explaining how she got where she is and who those people are. I don't think they're going to do the exact same thing as they did with Terminus. I did follow all the news from when they were filming this season, so I don't want to get crazy with spoilers, but I can definitely say that other place won't be another version of Terminus. They're not just going to blow it up the first time we see it. I think Beth's arc is mostly going to be a continuation of what we saw when she was off with Daryl. Like, she's just slowly growing up and getting used to being on her own. Emily Kinney is still a series regular, as far as I know, so even though she won't be with the survivors, we'll still see a lot of her, just in separate scenes. Question number two. Edward asks, do you think that Morgan will reunite with the group by the next episode, or are they going to drag it out? Yeah, they're definitely going to drag it out. Scott Gimple confirmed they're doing something super secret with his storyline, so it will be really cool, but it's going to be a separate thing. He and Kirkman have both said that they incorporated a lot more elements from the comics this year. That doesn't mean they're straight up copying what happens to Morgan in the comics, but if you have read them, some people and some things will seem a lot more familiar. I feel like it's just the two of them gently suggesting that everyone start reading the comics if they aren't already. Right now, I'm still behind. I haven't read All Out War yet, so do not feel bad if you haven't read the comics. I think the Morgan stuff will be just like Beth. You know, he'll be off on his own. The difference is, is we'll just see way less of Morgan. They have teased that the group is going to head back to a really big familiar location, which I think is Atlanta. So it's possible Morgan could also be headed in that direction because he obviously turned around. He was going to Terminus and then turned around. I don't know that he's ever going to become a series regular, but I do think by season six, he will have met Rick in the group. The actor says he loves coming on the show, so he'll always keep coming back. Question number three, Jasmine asks, do you think that Gareth will die this season or turn good and join the survivors? So the actor that plays Gareth, Andrew J. West, was promoted to series regular after the finale last year. So he's definitely in most, if not all, of the episodes this season. Probably not all of them. It doesn't necessarily mean he's going to turn good and join the survivors. I have seen a lot of theories that I really like that he and whoever's left from Terminus will turn into the hunters from the comics. They were already cannibals to begin with, so they were halfway there. It just means it's possible that Gareth and whoever's left could be haunting Rick and the survivors throughout the season. Question number four, Kaz asks, where did Rick and the survivors go after they reunited? So it seems like they headed in the opposite direction from Terminus. They have to run into Father Gabriel at some point because we saw him in the teaser. I don't know where his church is on the map, but in the trailers we've seen, in the footage we've seen, they're approaching it at night. So it's not going to be like a simple save Gabriel, then go back to his place and chill type thing. There are a lot of trailer scenes of them hanging out inside the church, so those might all be from that second episode. Father Gabriel in the comics is actually a really interesting character, so I'm interested to see how much of that they adapt for the TV show. In case you don't want to know anything about him, just turn the volume down till you see this tag go away. Okay, so right after the apocalypse, Gabriel hoarded supplies in his church and refused to let people in. Very ungodly thing to do for a priest. He was afraid of running low on food and water, so he carries around the guilt of the people who died because of his selfishness. Okay, so spoilers over. If you guys actually want to talk a lot more about Gabriel in the comics, just let me know and I'll include him in my episode 2 video. Seth Gilliam is an awesome actor, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him on the show, and it brings them one step closer to hiring every single actor that has ever appeared on The Wire. They're actually getting close. They're getting close. Number 5. Daniel asks, Will the show make sense if I just start watching now in season 5? So it'll take you longer to connect with the characters to develop like that deep personal connection to people, but you still should be able to follow. Even though it's highly serialized, they write episodes knowing that people are watching for the first time and people may not have read the comics, so they do add bits of exposition and moments to explain what's going on. Either way, welcome to the family. It's going to be a really fun show this year. Question number six. Shabab asks, why would they bring Sam back just to kill him off at the beginning of the episode? 
Yeah, so big shout out for the penguin. They said they flew him out literally so he could just kneel there and they could slice his throat. It was like a one day thing. Sam was just the red shirt they used to crank up the threat level. Him and the guy right next to him, they just wanted us to feel as the audience like they were actually gonna kill people in there. Robin Laura Taylor, for those that don't know, is the penguin on Gotham. That show just got picked up for a full 22 episodes. It airs Monday nights and I actually do videos for it every week. So if you check back on my channel later tonight, I'll actually have an episode three video for that. Question number seven, horror geek ass. There are only about five characters left from the original pilot episode. How long do you think they'll survive? I would not be surprised if they stayed on indefinitely. It seems like the show does try to keep the biggest actors around as long as possible. It's usually the guest stars that you need to worry about. And I know there were all those playful winks to Negan in a certain comic book moment, but I think the only time they kill off major characters is when they get the sense the group gets way too comfortable. The minute that everyone feels really safe and happy, that's when we need to start worrying. What might end up happening now is a rift could develop between Abraham's group and the survivors over the cure, and that'll just create internal tension. Gareth and whoever else shows up will probably provide the external tension. Like there always has to be threats inside the group and threats outside the group. Question number nine, Blacksmith Rage asks, do you think that Michonne will get her katana back? I didn't see Carol grab it, but she does have it in the trailers, so I am a little confused. It seems like someone went back and got it. I think they'll explain in the next episode because she definitely has a sword right here. If you remember last season, there was this thing with baby Judith where everyone thought that she was left behind because you couldn't see her on Tyrese's back. It could be the same situation. Carol could have just picked it up and we just didn't see. Question number 11, Raul asks, do you think that Carol's a version of Andrea from the comics? She's also a good sharpshooter and a badass. They do have a lot of similar qualities, but I think they kind of split a lot of Andrea up amongst the other characters. I think there's a lot of her story in Michonne and Carol right now. I don't know if that'll continue to be the case, but you could draw some connections between those three characters. Question number 12, Purely Awesome asks, why do you think they chose not to show Tyrese killing the Terminus guy? And why didn't he want Carol to go in the cabin? So there is a small chance that he did not kill that guy and that's why he doesn't want Carol to see. I think Tyrese having a problem killing people will work into the Gareth storyline and probably cause some problems later on. Like you saw, it was really hard for him to kill that guy and we never saw it actually go down. Regardless of what happened, I think they'll definitely address it again. If you remember the Lizzie Mika storyline, they offhandedly started that with the rats in episode one. Hopefully this won't snowball into a look at the flowers Tyrese situation. Thank you so much everyone for submitting questions. These are always a ton of fun to do and congratulations to this week's giveaway winner, Oliver Yoshi. You win the Amazon gift card. The next round of the giveaway will start next Sunday whenever I post my episode two video. For those asking, it is a new giveaway every week and I also do giveaways in my Doctor Who and Game of Thrones videos. Probably some other random giveaways happening with DC and Marvel stuff too. So the more different things you check out, the better your chances are for catching all that stuff. And for those asking about Game of Thrones videos specifically, I'm probably going to move those to Fridays just because my Sunday Mondays now are getting kind of log jammed. That's not meant to sound like a sex thing. Either way, shit goes down with Father Gabriel next week. I'll probably have a bonus video to post before the episode airs. Right now, you can click here to learn all about the Walking Dead spinoff show. It's actually going to be really cool. And click here for my episode one WTF video. Thank you so much for watching. So let's all high five. I'll see you guys tonight for Gotham.